we remember the sacrifice and there's nothing but sadness. The great events of, of entering into Medina to Munawwara, all of these events that bring light, bring a sadness in how we come short. And as a result of coming short, it's but for the grace of God that He allows us to celebrate these nights. When we truly understand how much they sacrificed to enter paradise, we think it's cheap and easy. We don't take it for the value that it is and the difficulty that's required to enter. And when we think of all the stories we told and today is Imam Husayn's day in which the sacrifice of family, the sacrifice of loved ones, all for the order of Allah to bring the honour, love and respect for his beloved grandfather Sayyidina Muhammad to show that he would fulfil the command of Allah And these holy events not to look at them <coughs> like a historical event. We are trained to bring everything back to home, that everyone who has someone they love, a spouse, a child, grandchildren is bring it to your own home. That imagine that you're with your family and your children and for no reason of your own that you haven't done anything but people are coming to the door of your home and they wish to kill you and they wish to slaughter you. Means that if you don't take these history events that make our history, the richness of our faith and history. And we see it as, oh look what people went through, okay but let's get to the next page. But bring everything back to ourselves because everyone has children and a home and a loved one or even a pet, whatever you have. Imagine that what… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, this is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, there's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You have and somebody's coming now to attack. And you have no way to fight them off, you're fully underprepared for any type of battle or fight against this enemy that's coming. You have no way of saving them. I don't know if you've ever heard a noise around your house and all of a sudden you get worried, you get nervous. Watch the news and you see how people come in with multiple guns and weapons. You have no defense against these things if Allah should write this type of an attack on your home. And you feel the helplessness but not hopelessness because they're filled with hope and faith. And all you can do is, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakeel. <coughs> There's no defense, how will I save them? Because in these types of calamities generally men whom are men would think less about their death and more about what happens to the ones I'm hump to protect. How do I keep the owner of the women of the house, 
and how do I defend the weakless and the weak children of the house? And how would I do that when these forces are coming in and they only want to destroy and in their hearts there is no mercy. They displayed that fact in the way that they killed the family of the Prophet So we think to ourselves that, what would I do? And that's when you have to open up an awareness within yourself that if you think it's very far off, turn on the news and every day thousands of families are faced with horrific acts of crime for no reason of their own, some are based on their own reason and involvement in nefarious things. And we think to ourselves that if it comes and if it happens and the a family is attacked, how will I defend the owner of the household, how will I protect the children and you won't be able to. And all you can rely upon is Allah's rahmah and mercy, that Ya Rabbi grant everyone paradise. Grant us to be firm through this calamity and not to lose faith. And only for a glimpse of a second you can think like that and maybe meditate like that, it become too heavy and too hard. And worry begins to enter into the heart that, really what am I going to do to defend my family? Most people don't even think like that and they don't have even a fork in their house to defend themselves or the owner of their family. But watch the news and you see that this crime and these crimes are happening everywhere. One, to be prepared so that when you do think like that you have to think, well how am I going to defend the owner of my household and defense of my children as I'm the imam of the home. And when we think like that and the sadness and the immensity of sadness of, of someone coming in and beginning slaughtering and killing and acts of violence that can't be understood and then to keep their faith and hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakeel for everything rarely is in Allah's hands, there is no help and there is no power except in Allah If He sends a relief and someone to help then He sends. And if he didn't send then it's in Allah's will. This for the believer to think how difficult that was. How difficult was that for Prophet to watch because his nazar is upon everything. How difficult was that for the entire holy family to watch, the holy companions to watch. And they see nothing but difficulty from the nation towards their families. How difficult was that for Imam Hussain and all the family and all the ladies of the household, all the children of the household, how did they endure such a difficulty, horrific that one by one being slaughtered in fields while the other remaining living are watching. And that their slaughter is next, and their slaughter is next. And if we look at it as a distance and forget it, it will be wasted. And if we look at it and bring it home, it becomes something familiar with us. Because cry for them, give food for them. Remember and beg Allah, don't test me like you tested them. I haven't the faith and I haven't the strength. And by remembering the sacrifice of others and the sacrifice of the holy family, that they didn't establish themselves as superhuman and untouchable. But the most beloved and most precious of Allah endured immense difficulty for the sake of faith. And this 
faith so strong that it would be an example unto the Day of Judgment. And that when we see this and when we witness this and when we talk to Allah within our heart for the safety of our home, Ya Rabbi give me a strength. If I've angered you in anything, forgive me. If I've dishonoured you in any way or said anything against your oneness, anything against the faith, anything against Sayyidina Muhammad if I've done anything to anger you that grant me your forgiveness and that I'm a weak servant Ya Rabbi. Send a mighty support to support me, my family, my children, my community against oppression and oppressors. That when we see these difficulties we acknowledge their sacrifice because people want to know why, why you have to do these things. Some people are very cold hearted, they know this is a happy day why you have to be like that? Okay, well all of a sudden inshaAllah to your home a difficulty and then you don't need to post it and they ask everybody why we should cry about your death and the death of your family. It was something good let's go out celebrate. But everybody's difficulty is very important for them but difficulty towards Sayyidina Muhammad and his grandchildren like birds of paradise. They came to this dirty earth and they saw nothing but difficulty. Why? Why they had to torture them like that and spread their blood all over the fields? So that we would understand, when you look to them, look to their story, look to how these events unfolded then think of ourselves, our family and in difficulty and somebody's outside, somebody's coming in, somebody's going to do horrific things once they enter in, Ya Rabbi protect me, grant me your grace Ya Rabbi, grant me your forgiveness. For if Allah's anger should be on somebody then Allah sends people with no mercy to come to clean you in a way that is, is, is not something understandable and that becomes your price into paradise and into heavens. We choose a price that is based on love and rahmah that we're not capable of these types of difficulties Ya Rabbi so we celebrate with love. We observe all of these holy events and we want the world to remember them to the little bit that we have in effect. We don't reach the world but we reach the 10 people whom are listening. And we want them to remember this love, to give water for this love, to do good deeds for this love so that they too think within their homes for safety and for protection. We have lots of converts, this all we're doing, we don't know these Arab families, you don't have to know them, you just have to know your own family. That as soon as you're emailing that your kid is sick, this one's sick, this one's like that. Yeah congratulations but their kids were being slaughtered. Did you cry for them? Did you understand that how they were being slaughtered, how they were being killed for no reason other than the fact that they were existing? When you truly understand then you understand, what am I going to do when they come to slaughter me? And how will I defend? And am I good with Allah and is the support going to come and if it doesn't then I submit to Allah's will, then we see the greatness of their faith and the greatness of this type of tragedy in which it happens every day. Every day people come against the light. Anyone trying to spread light, spread hope, spread goodness is attacked by these types of shaitans. They want nothing of light to be spread, nothing of love to be spread, nothing of hope to be spread. We pray that Allah grant us forgiveness, allow us to enter into the oceans of forgiveness 
and first to claim we're nothing, we've done nothing. And throughout our life if we've done things to anger you, Ya Rabbi, grant us forgiveness. Why? For the sake of this love. For the sake of this love it wash away all pride and bad character. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.